Taking a look at the tropics, I think everyone is talking about Tropical Storm Dorian because if you remember, late last week, most computer models had this feature weakening as it was kind of right in this area, but also computer models were indicating that it was going to be moving more toward the island of Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. Incredibly high mountains impacting with those high mountainous, uh, the mountainous terrain usually helps to weaken and disrupt the circulation. Well, Dorian is very clear of the Dominican Republic and actually kind of scooting right in between Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. This area, very flat, so there really isn't any hindrance for that circulation around the storm itself. And what's going to continue happening is it's going to be moving away from land by later on tonight, likely strengthening to a category one storm. And then once in the open Atlantic waters, it's going to stay clear of the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas and is going to be moving into a more hospitable environment for further strengthening, which is why the Hurricane Center now has this becoming a major category three storm as it approaches Florida sometime late this weekend and into early next week, which is Labor Day. A lot of folks have vacation plans in Florida, and much of the state of Florida is at risk of feeling the impacts of this storm. Now, where does it go after that? That's what a lot of folks are curious about. Now, this is the European model. Here is Dorian right now. Again, the track of both the Euro and the GFS have been very, very close, intensifying as it approaches Florida, then becoming possibly a Category 3 storm as it moves on land again by Sunday and into Monday. The exact day of that is uh, still in question. Now what most of the models have been doing is either bringing this briefly into the Gulf of Mexico and then turning northward. The GFS kind of has the storm just scooting along the coast of Florida before moving northward. Most of the models are agreeing that it's going to start making a bit of a turn in response to an upper trough that's going to be Actually, the same trough that will be pushing our cold front through late tonight will kind of keep itself around the East Coast and hopefully turn Dorian away from the Gulf of Mexico altogether. And if not completely away from the Gulf of Mexico, then at least make a turn long before it really affects much of the panhandle of Florida. We also have tropical depression. It has been downgraded, Aaron, because here is the center of circulation and here is all the convection. Again, Aaron is not going to pose any threat to land with the exception of maybe Maine or the Canadian Maritime provinces by the end of its forecast period. Here's the upper trough that is deepening. This is going to force our cold front on through later tonight. And notice what the computer models are indicating. Here's that trough. It kind of lifts a little bit farther back to the north and then you see another deepening of the trough come in for this weekend. It's likely going to be this weakness in the atmosphere that starts drawing Dorian northward. Now this model is based on the GFS and notice kind of moving toward the Jacksonville area before making that turn inland. The Euro does have a little bit more of a westerly track, which would briefly take it into the Gulf of Mexico, but both models keeping it far away from New Orleans and really far away from the north central Gulf Coast.